Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his Son.
thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you all souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Amen. Uh, thank you. Thank you to everybody who's made it into church this morning. It is bitterly cold, isn't it? But how beautiful is it? The frost is so gorgeous. The fro I just took a photo um, before church of a spider's web, a frozen spider's web. Now, I, I absolutely hate spiders. I hate spiders, terrified of spiders. But a frozen spider's web is a thing of beauty so even while we're freezing half to death let's enjoy the beauty of it if we can but thank you to those of you who came in and to those of you who stayed at home and kept kept warm well i can't argue with you to be fair so however having said that we are coming up to christmas and i will take no excuses for not coming into church at christmas right you're all going to come you're going to come to the carol service well you are but you're going to come to the carol service aren't you and i've got to tell you I've heard them rehearsing. It's going to be an absolute belter this year, isn't it? The music is amazing. So all your favourite carols you'll be able to sing along with. Listen to some of the music that this, these people have been working on, which is really, really gorgeous. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be peaceful and holy. And it's going to be quite exciting as well. We've got a real range of music going on. It's going to be beautiful. And, of course, it's candle lit. So um, unusually, uh, because of the, um, the World Cup final... Uh, which is on Sunday next week, is actually going to be on Thursday the 22nd of December at 7pm. The details are on your pew sheet. Um, Christmas Eve, a reminder to everybody who has friends, family, neighbours who are um, children. The service to bring them to, and please do bring them, is the crib service that we're doing at 3 o'clock on Christmas Eve. It's a perfect time, because honestly, families, if you haven't finished your Christmas shopping by 3 o'clock on Christmas Eve, it's too late anyway, so you might as well come to church and sing some carols, right? But it, it is a really lovely service, but there isn't really a tradition of doing this for, for some years. Um, so we haven't got people who are looking forward to coming every year. But So that's why it's important that you bring friends and families, that you tell your neighbours about it, that if you've got kids, you, you bring some of their friends and, and so on, because it will be a beautiful and, and really fun service. And then, of course, midnight mass at 11 o'clock on Christmas Eve, and then Christmas morning, 10 o'clock as usual. So, as I say, I will take no excuses. I will be taking a register and ticking everybody off to make sure you're all here. You know I won't be. But on the subject of services and getting people here, we have 2,000 flyers at the back, and they're not going to deliver themselves, ladies and gentlemen. So, Mother Patricia and I have done the really hard work, haven't we? We've done the really hard work. We've counted the leaflets and put them in little piles with street names on them. So, if you go to the back there, you'll find piles of um, flyers with an, a street. And sometimes the, instru the instructions are a bit complicated, so it might say something like such and such a road odd numbers, or such and such a road even numbers. But we've tried to keep all the piles, um, you know, uh, roughly kind of 30 to 80, so that everybody can, can deliver a reasonable amount, so that we've divided some of the streets up. So follow the instructions on them. Um, and, and seriously, you know, take a look they're all streets in our parish. You can't deliver them to any random streets. Just because you live on it, you might not live in the parish. We can only deliver them to the streets in our parish. So if everybody can just take like one of those little wadges and deliver them to the streets that it says on the label, then people will know about the services. People like Christmas services. They want to know when the Christmas services are so that they can come. And unless we tell them when they are, they won't come. So if we want to see bums on pews, and we do, then please do your bit and deliver some of the flyers. We need to deliver as many as we can out of those 2,000. And if everybody here does 100, then you know we're well on our way to getting that, getting that done. Um, thank you for that. Is there anything else? And it, oh, gifting envelopes. There's a note in your pew service. If you're somebody who takes the envelopes and, and commits to putting money in it every week, the boxes are at the back. There's two or three little changes. So it's for people who already do this. 
carry on. For people who don't do this, we'd really strongly like to encourage you to go to standing order um, and to give, a, um, to give by standing order rather than by the little envelopes, just because um, it's a lot easier for us to deal with that than to take cash to um, the bank. But obviously, if you're still, if you're doing that, you can continue to do it. We're not going to phase it out. Have I forgotten anything apart from birthdays and things? Birthdays, Ben. Oh, Sunday club after this. Yeah, Sunday club after the service. Is it your birthday? It's your friend's birthday. What's your friend called? Aisha. Aisha. Her birthday is on the 27th Oh, that's quite a way away, but we'll still pray for her. Because she's got Christmas first, right? She's got all of that to do. But we will pray for her nonetheless. We'll pray for anybody who wants a prayer. Anybody got any birthdays coming up soon? No? Anybody got any travelling? I mean, quite a few people soon will, I think. I think people like to travel at Christmas. Anybody got any travel now? No. So in that case, let's pray briefly for everybody who has a birthday, um, who isn't here. Let's pray for Aisha, and we'll pray for um, anybody in this parish who has a birthday this week. So let us pray. Father God, we thank you for every day of life that you give us, but we particularly thank you when our birthdays come around. And so we pray blessings on everybody who has a birthday coming up. We remember Aisha, but everybody else who has a birthday or indeed an anniversary coming up, thanking you for another year and looking forward to another year in your presence. And we bless all of these people in your name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Anything else? Then over to you, Mother Patricia.